good day to you today. Today we are trying take two, unfortunately. We are trying take two today of Mountain Dews, and you can only get this by, you know, prize, so not everyone's going to get this. But today we're going to try a little bit of this new Mountain Dew Baja Deep Dive. So let's get into it, and let's take a deep dive. Hey, welcome to the Zach and Dads. We really do appreciate it. We are the place, not the place or a place, but we're the place for food reviews, food challenges, and today, good old Mountain Dew kind of fun. And you know I do love my Mountain Dew, so I'm looking forward to this. So it's a Mountain Dew kind of fun. So if you enjoy what you see here, which we please hope you do, I hope you enjoy the surroundings as well. We hope like we hope you like what you see here. And if you do, please like, subscribe, and click on that bell and make sure that not only just hit on it but when do that pull down in the menu and you'll have some choices hit the all so you never miss today a comfortable fireside chat and a video and a food review all in one so you never miss those awesome food reviews and fun that we have along the way so thanks for being with us uh we really do appreciate it uh as you can see again uh, a couple of new things well, not a couple new things, but a couple things. First of all, I'm sunless, again, uh, in Wisconsin. Uh, again, I, like I said, it's a treat uh, when you can get them. Um, matter of fact, I really wanted to do this review with my son. This one I wanted to do because I love to do Mountain Dew reviews uh, with my son. And so I really wanted to do this. I've had this on the radar. I mean, I wanted to do this for two weeks with him, but it, life got busy. Like today, I'm taping this on a Tuesday. Uh, hopefully, you'll see it on a Wednesday um and uh he had school then uh work and then he has homework and then he had a game a soccer game yesterday then he has practice you know it's just so much it's just so much um and he would love to be a part he really 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 would love to be a part of this but the thing is is then you have soccer you have schoolwork and we're, we're you know what for as much as we love to do these a priority is schoolwork i really want to make sure he excels in schoolwork and you know what? You're only a kid once. You're only a kid once. So have fun, you know, do your work. But then, you know what? With the sports and other stuff, you know what? Have fun. And he's getting older. That's why he's got to work now. So he's got to work, you know, to pay for, you know, all these reviews his dad does. Anyway, why I said this is take two, um, and I'm pretty upset about it, to tell you the truth. And I usually, you know, you don't notice that for me, but I was kind of upset um, that um, I'm using now my my new phone. Uh, I'm using now the new phone that I've been using now for some of these food reviews in the past. And many of you are like, I love the look. It looks really crisp, really clear. You sound really good. Uh, matter of fact, you look better than usual. You sound better than usual. Thank you. Um, but, but anyway, I, I had my old phone and I thought, you know what? I have my old phone. I have my old phone right here. And you know what? It's, you know, it still does the trick. It was more handy at the time, so I thought I'm gonna use it. Well, it did start okay, but it only recorded a bit of what I wanted. And so really I did the I did the whole food review. I did the whole thing not knowing. Because when I use my phone, when I use my phone, like right now, I'm I have it flipped over, so I'm just seeing the back side of the camera. I'm using the good cam I'm I have the back side of the phone, so I only have the good cameras. So or I have the good cameras on this one. If you use it on the other side, like if you use it on this side where I can see myself. The camera's not the best, but if you flip it over and then use the back camera, that's the best one. So I like to use the back camera. So I didn't know that this stopped. Uh, apparently, the, uh, apparently the memory already filled halfway through. So I was like, ah! And I thought, okay, well, I'll do the other half with the newer phone. But then it's going to look, that's going to look cruddy. Uh, half of it with the old phone, half of it with the new phone. I didn't want to do that. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make the sacrifice and do this all over again. I hope it's just as good, but you know what? You'll never know because you know what the last one. Actually, the last one was perfect. It was awesome. It's just too bad you won't see it. It was probably the best video I ever did. The best video. It just was perfect. The timings were perfect. It was awesome, but you'll never know. So now you get the leftovers. I'm tired. No, I'm kidding. So anyway, what are we going to do today? Um, we are going to do, and unfortunately, not all of you are going to be able to try this. Um, I think only 18,000 of you. But today, what we're going to try is Mountain Dew's uh, 
Baja Deep Dive. Um, this is a mystery flavor. Now, why I said not everyone's going to try this is the only way that you could try this. And I'll put a card up for uh, I'll put a card up for the other Bajas we tried not too long ago. But a couple months ago, you probably remember that Zach and I tried, I think, two or three new Baja flavors that were out there. And it was like the summer Baja. Remember the big summer Baja? And they were coming out with, I think they had the regular Baja, which is a Taco Bell exclusive. And, but they had that out for the mass market. But then they also had, I think, a pineapple one, which I really liked. Um, and then like a mango one, I think it was. Well, anyway, I'll have a card up for that one. Please go back and look at those. Anyway, there was a contest that if you would get the mango one, the Mountain Dew one, and then the regular one, and you would collect the caps and then redeem those, there was a code on the cap. And then if you would redeem that code on their website, you would have a chance to win a six pack of, of Mountain Dew's uh, Baja Deep Dive. So they had the other Bajas that you were able to try mass, mass produced everywhere, but then only, I think it was only 18,000 people were lucky enough to win a six pack of this uh, Mountain Dew uh, Baja Deep Dive. And you know what? I didn't win. <laughs> I'm like, oh, all that to say I didn't win. No, I didn't. Um, I know a lot of other channels did. Uh, I know like uh, Vito the Kid, uh, Vito the Kid got it. Um, and so I know they did a review of it, but no, I act, a lot of people I knew did get it. I didn't get it. Don't know why. Maybe Mountain Dew doesn't like our reviews. Who knows? But anyway, what was really awesome about it is that one of our awesome subscribers, I'm not going to use her, I'm not going to use her personal name for privacy reasons, of course. Um, and so anyway, one of our subscribers asked us, hey, did you guys win the Baja Deep Dive? And I'm like, nah, I don't know yet, because I think it came out a couple weeks ago. And I said, no, I don't think so yet. And she said, well, just let me know. So anyway, I found I never did ended up getting it. So uh, she said, one of our awesome subscribers, and you know who you are out there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are now on top of the list. I love it. I love it when our subscribers contact us, and especially when we can't, especially when we don't have things in our area. I love when subscribers send us you know, food at our P.O. box, all from snacks from all over the world. I just love our subs. I love them. They're the best ever. So she said, oh, you didn't get it. Well, I'm going to send you two. She, because you get a six pack, but she's like, I'm not going to have a whole six pack. I'll send you two. And I'll send you the card that came with it. Thank you. You are awesome. And you know who you are. Anyway, this is Mountain Dew Deep Dive. And uh, let me tell you a little bit what it says. And then we'll take a deep then we'll take a deep dive into it. Why not? Um, anyway, uh, from the depths, from the depths of the Baja Sea, just when you thought Mountain Dew Baja Blast, I'm saying it in one of those like, you know, announcer, announcer voices, just when, and I do actually have a radio show. So as a matter of fact, my radio show was this morning. I do, I host a radio show once a month. Uh, in our local community, uh, where I interview uh, community leaders uh, about events that are going on throughout the town that the community can be involved with. I love doing it. I think it's great. Uh, so, because I've been told, the reason why I do it is I've been told I have a face for radio. And I took, that was, that was really a nice compliment. I, I really took that to heart. I thought that was awesome when someone said that to me. Matter of fact, a lot of people. And I, I really take that to heart. Thank you for those of you who have said that. I, no, I, I really do try to take care of myself. So that was nice. Anyway, um, so I'm going to use this kind of as the announcer voice. So just when you thought Mountain Dew Baja Blast couldn't get any better, we discovered a new treasure of Baja Island. The new Mountain Dew Baja Deep Dive. The ultra, ultra exclusive flavor. What is the ultra exclusive flavor? I thought exclusive meant that it was already exclusive. What is ultra exclusive? So it... You know, I don't, that's kind of interesting. I didn't, you know. But anyway, the ultra exclusive is not for the faint of heart. Dun, dun, dun. It's quench thirsting secrets are a mystery. Mm, let's try to unravel those, shall we? And you are one of the secret few to discover it. Not really. I did not get it, but someone did bless me with it. We know you love it. Well, that's why you're here to see, to see if we really do. Share your review on social media and take, well, whatever. And, uh, okay, all that stuff. Okay, so anyway, um, this is what it looks like. I'll probably put a picture up so you get a little more detail. I'll probably put a picture up 
of what this really does look like, but um, we'll see if the camera does it justice. But anyway, as you can see, some beautiful artwork there of essentially a deep dive. Um, let's see, you see kind of a squid there. There's a, there's an uh, animal or an animal right here. There's an animal with a lot of googly eyes. There's a scuba diver there. Um, that looks like a sea, a sea, uh, what do they call those? Sea animal, sea lions, mm. seals, I forgot. But anyway, um, with a goggles and what's funny about this one right here is that it has, um, and that looks like an octopus, kind of an arm right there. Um, anyway, a lot of cool stuff on it. I really like it. I really love the artwork. Anyway, it has a, he has a mask on, but it, he also has one of those things on to help you to breathe. And it's pretty funny because when you're deep diving, this isn't going to help you one iota. You have to have something a little more functional than that. But anyway, I think it really looks good. Um, I'm not going to give you the nutritional contents. I know some channels do that. I know some channels do the nutritional contents of it. But you know why I don't? Because unless you're on a diet um, or unless you're eating healthy foods, um, if you're having Mountain Dew um, or, you know, like if you're eating some of the stuff I'm reviewing, like Mountain Dew or fast food, uh, you're not on a diet anyway. I can guarantee you that if you're drinking Mountain Dew, I don't think anyone's in the grocery store looking, oh, let me look at that. Oh, 220, 220 calories. Oh, man, that's way too many. No, I mean, if you're having regular Mountain Dew, you're not looking at the nutritional facts. You're just taking it. Matter of fact, if you're at McDonald's or the fast food place, you're not looking at, okay, let me see what has, all right, that Big Mac has, uh, you know, 2,000 calories, you know, that. No, you know, you, you're just eating. You're not on a diet. You're just eating it. So I'm not going to give you those facts. But anyway, it looks really beautiful. Uh, looks really awesome. Uh, so let's kind of deep dive into this. Again, Not I know, I know not everyone gets this. So it's kind of like, why am I reviewing this? If not, you, if you can't even go out and get it, why should I review it? Well, because I want to have fun. You know, the thing is, this channel is more than just for food reviews. The food review is really the, the icing on the cake. It's the small part. The, the real reason why you're here is maybe you're listening to me while you're getting ready in the morning or you're, you're going to bed or you're taking me in the car with you and you just want to, you just want some banter. You just want to listen to some talk. Let me be your food review talk radio. The talk review or... The talk radio of food review. The talk show of food review. There we go. How about that? The talk show of food reviews. You know, again, every, you know, uh, almost every video now, it's like, oh, you know, you didn't chip it and dip it until such and such in time. You know what? That's cool. I, I don't care. Because again, if you're here and you just want the food review, you can do two things. You can fast forward to where I actually chip it and dip it, or... There are thousands, like I say every time, there are thousands of other channels that get right to the food review. But here's the thing, social media. What YouTube is social media. It really is. What does that mean? That means talk. Social media is talk. So that's why I like it when you comment, you write to me, you let me know how your family's doing, you let me know how your life is doing, you kind of talk to me and I talk to you. And so that's what I think this is all about. It's just kind of a big social media kind of event. I love, I love this dialogue. I love when you comment to me and I get to talk to you and all that fun stuff. So, all right. How do you like this glass? I really, I found this glass and I really, really, really love it. I think it looks really cool. How do you like this, by the way? I'm in a new, I'm not in our studio and I'm not in our car. Um, I'm kind of in a mutual area, kind of on the spot uh, location, uh, I guess you could say today. And so I'm in a room that has kind of a, a really nice, uh, fireplace there, just really a comfortable place. You know what this kind of reminds me of is, remember in the black and white shows, a uh, long time ago where there would, um, oh, by the way, I just heard that Angela Lansbury died today. Angela Lansbury. Oh, I loved her so much. I loved her in um, Beauty and the Beast uh, as, uh, you know, I think she was the teacup. Uh, Murder, she wrote. Do we have any Murder, she wrote fans? Again, I'm 80s. I am an 80s boy, true and blue. And I, I loved Murder, She Wrote. Um, that city, whatever city was in, I mean, that must have been the murder capital of the world because every episode there was a murder in her community. And she solved it. But she was in so many shows that she will, I think she was 96. So proud. And she's from the UK. So I think she was, uh, I think that, yeah, as old as the Queen was. Interesting. Wow. Another lady that's like 96 is, um, oh, I forgot her, but she was uh, Mrs. Bouquet. 
um, on Keeping Up With Appearances. That's another UK show, and I love that show. And I think she's around 96 as well, so. Anyway, all that have no clue why I said, oh yeah, because what this reminds me of is when, you know, in those black and white shows old, you know, they would eat like, you know, they would, they would be around, they would be in their dining room and they'd eat. And then afterwards they would say, and this was usually the men, the men would say, okay, let us retire. You know, they would, they would light up their cigars or their pipes and they would say, let us retire into the, let us retire into the living room. And so then they would go into this like living room with the fireplace and they'd be smoking and talking. That kind of reminds me of this. Anyway, let's get into it. Anyway, let's pour the, ooh, 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 ooh. Again, I did this already, so I kind of already know what it looks like. But what I, what I really liked about this was this was probably one of the best colors. Look at that. I can even actually see through it. Hi, guys. Good to see you out there. Anyway, this is probably one of the best, this is probably one of the best looking Mountain Dews or almost sodas that I've ever had. Really nice, really clear nice not like a dark green but a really nice almost festive Christmassy green color I really really like that and if I remember yes it, it has that there's a fruity smell to it it really does it really it really smells good actually it smells like a real like a real good beverage to have so let's do this yeah I like this I like how I can I really like this so let's do it chip it dip it and it has a real it is a real beautiful full body taste to it. Nice sparkling taste to it. Um, smooth as well. Kind of a nice berry taste. Again, I don't know exactly um, the berry taste it is. Someone said, I think Vito the Kid. Matter of fact, matter of fact I'm going to put a card up for Vito the Kid. Um, really like those guys a lot. Um, they were a father and son duo that they know how to do it right. They do a great job in food reviews. Not only did they get, matter of fact, first of all, they said this tasted like all the Baja Blasts put together. I'm not sure about that. Maybe. I, again, I have no clue. But anyway, what they not only did they win, let me try to do that. I hope it doesn't spell. But not only did they win this, but uh, but before they wanted Mountain Dew, they had this connection in this relationship with Mountain Dew, which is great. I wish I had that connection. But they had this connection with Mountain Dew that they get stuff before it's even released. So they got one of these, but it so they got one, and I think it was just one can. And what it was, it was in a very, it wasn't really in a beautiful case. It was like in a really beautiful souvenir case, and it actually lit up. So at, like at night, it would light up, and it looked spooky and really cool. And so, matter of fact, I'll put a card up for that video. Uh, where you can see that case and see them review it and go over there and if you haven't already please subscribe um and whether you've subscribed or not tell them hey i'm watching this because zach and dad sent me i, I love those guys and again uh we love to help each other out i would get well i don't know why i would say that i would recommend it if you could um tell me are, were you one of the eighteen thousand that got it and if you were you tell me what you thought of it i really would like this i don't i you know, it's not my favorite, but I would hope that they can mass produce this at one time or another so you can try it. This is this is the best Baja that they've had. Best Baja. Um, the pineapple one was good, but this one is almost better than that. Um, just that nice full body, smooth, smooth taste. Um, nice berry taste, but I can't tell the berry in it. Um, Maybe it's a little berry white. No. Um, maybe I'll just drink the whole thing and I'll let you know. I am really tempted to just keep drinking it. Um, and that is what I do like about these Zach and Dads when Zach's not here is that I actually get to try everything that I that I buy. Um, usually we review thing and he ends up eating my lunch or all of what we're doing. This is kind of nice because I get it. But we did get a, a subscriber gave us two, so Zach will be able to try some. Anyway, seriously, if you, I hope this does get mass produced because you're going to want to try some. Uh, again, thank you to that sub uh, that gave that blessed us with that. That was really, 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 really good. Uh, let me give you some uh, before I go for a flavor rating. Let me give you some questions, uh, like we always do. Give me a thumbs up if you're a Dew fan. I would love to know that. I'm a huge Dew fan. Uh, Dew is my favorite. You know, then it's Coke with a lime in it, but I really like do. And then what is your go-to? You probably know me, and I've said it many times, I'll even put a card up for when we reviewed it. 
uh, I love Mountain Dew Thrashed Apple. Mountain Dew Thrashed Apple. Perfect. Awesome. It came out last year. It almost, it came out last year. Exactly right now. It was a fall kind of a flavor. And I think, they, I think I thought I heard them say that they were coming out again this fall. I can't wait. I loved it. If you love apple, if you love apple cider, just think of apple cider carbonated. Oh, it is really good. I, I would hope that I can get my hands on one again. Matter of fact, I think our Kroger's actually kept them in stock almost all year too. So that was a good thing too. Um, and you know Zach, Zach's Liberty Brew. Zach really loved the Liberty Brew, but uh, but his favorite really is Pepsi, and you know that too. And then are you on team talking about deep dive? Talk about your deep thing. Um, talking about your deep dive. Are you when it comes to water? Do would you rather deep dive under this under the water, or do you like to stay above it like on a boat? Would you would you rather go on a boat and seeing the water from above? Uh, or do you like to scuba dive to see the water from below? I would love to know, especially if you're if there's any scuba divers out there. Let me know. Let me know. I'd like to know some of your stories. I think that would be great about some of the things you've seen under there. I think that'd be awesome. But anyway, thanks again, guys. We really do appreciate it. Thanks for being with us today. Uh, we love you guys. Uh, if you could help us out, please like, comment, subscribe, like us on those Facebooks. Uh, Share this on uh, your social medias, whether you tweet or you snap or you crackle or you pop. You know, share it on all those social medias. Get it out there to the masses. We really would appreciate that. Um, and th we know that there's a thousand. So like us on those Facebooks. Though that is our primary social media. But but you share it wherever you can. We would love that. But there's a thousand other channels that are. I don't know. We're pretty unique now. But there's a thousand other food review. We're fooders. But there's a thousand other foodie channels out there or food review channels out there that probably get right to the food review. And so if you like those, you go for it. But there's a thousand other channels just like us that probably do it better than us or whatever. But thanks for spending a small time of your YouTube experience with the father that you know why I do this? I really do this because I love to talk, really. And that's what I do for a living is talk. So I love to talk love to dialogue and so i love to be in front of uh i think i don't know if i said on this video or in the last video oh yeah i did talk about that i have a radio show uh but i have a radio show i we do this i talk for a living i probably 90 percent of what i do is is talk so i love to talk so that's why we do what we do but we really do what we do to entertain you to have some laughs but also in the days of inflation i mean have you i just filled up I mean, I don't want to go. I just filled up with gas. And I don't even want to tell you what I paid. But anyway, the days of inflation, you really got to make some smart choices. You don't want to waste your money on this deep dive. If you, if I, if I thought it was horrible, I wouldn't want you to waste your money. So you really got to be picky of where you're spending your dollars now. So I hope that we can be a help for your infl in inflammation dollars, of your inflation dollars and on your budget to make some wise decisions. So we really do thank you for that. So I love you guys as we, as always. And as we always end, we'll see you. I'll use this old phone, I guess. We'll see you on the flippity flop. Take care, guys. God bless. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye now.